In physics, a state of matter is one of the distinct forms in which matter can exist. Four states of matter are observable in everyday life, solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. These are the states that are taught to most of the children in their textbooks. These are the fundamental states. The term phase is sometimes used as a synonym for state of matter, but it is possible for a single compound to form different phases that are in the same state of matter. For example, ice is the solid state of water, but there are multiple phases of ice with different crystal structures which are formed at different pressures and temperatures. The term phase transition or phase change refers to the changing of one state to the other. Melting, freezing, evaporation, condensation, sublimation, deposition, ionization, and recombination. These eight phases exist under different temperatures and pressure conditions. Other than fundamental states, we have non-classical states, low temperature states, high energy states, very high energy states, and other proposed states. Glass is non-classical state, it is a non-crystalline or amorphous solid material that exhibits a glass transition when heated towards the liquid state. Funny thing about glass is that glass can be formed by lightning, and when glass breaks, the cracks move at 3,000 miles per hour. Glasses can be made of quite different classes of materials, inorganic networks, metallic alloys, ionic melts, aqueous solutions, molecular liquids, and polymers. Thermodynamically, a glass is in a metastable state with respect to its crystalline counterpart. The conversion rate, however, is practically zero. Next is liquid crystal. They are used in the calculator displays and LCDs. Liquid crystals do not produce light. Liquid crystal states have properties intermediate between mobile liquids and ordered solids. Generally, they are able to flow like a liquid but exhibiting long-range order. In this state, the molecules flow as in a liquid, but they all point in the same direction and cannot rotate freely. Like a crystalline solid, but unlike a liquid, liquid crystals react to polarized light. Next are magnetically ordered states. These are ferromagnet, antiferromagnet, ferrimagnet, quantum spin liquid. Next is copolymers. Copolymers can undergo microphase separation to form a diverse array of periodic nanostructures. Next are low temperature states. One is superconductor. Superconductors are materials which have zero electrical resistivity and therefore perfect conductivity. This is a distinct physical state which exists at low temperature and the resistivity increases discontinuously to a finite value at a sharply defined transition temperature for each superconductor. A superconductor also excludes all magnetic fields from its interior, a phenomenon known as the Meissner effect or perfect diamagnetism. Superconducting magnets are used as electromagnets in magnetic resonance imaging machines. Next low temperature state is superfluid. Close to absolute zero, some liquids form a second liquid state described as superfluid because it has zero viscosity. This was discovered in 1937 for helium. In this state, it will attempt to climb out of its container. It also has infinite thermal conductivity so that no temperature gradient can form in a superfluid. Placing a superfluid in a spinning container will result in quantized vortices. These properties are explained by the theory that the common isotope helium-4 forms a Bose-Einstein condensate in the superfluid state. Number three is Bose-Einstein condensate. In 1924, Albert Einstein and Satyendra Nath Bose predicted the Bose-Einstein condensate, sometimes referred to as the fifth state of matter. In a beck, matter stops behaving as independent particles and collapses into a single quantum state that can be described with a single uniform wave function. In the gas phase, the Bose-Einstein condensate remained an unverified theoretical prediction for many years. In 1995, the research groups of Eric Cornell and Carl Wieman, of Gila at the University of Colorado at Boulder, produced the first such condensate experimentally. A Bose-Einstein condensate is colder than a solid. It may occur when atoms have very similar quantum levels at temperatures very close to absolute zero. Four is fermionic condensate. A fermionic condensate is similar to the Bose-Einstein condensate but composed of fermions. 
the Pauli exclusion principle prevents fermions from entering the same quantum state, but a pair of fermions can behave as a boson, and multiple such pairs can then enter the same quantum state without restriction. Number 5 is quantum Hall state. A quantum Hall state gives rise to quantized Hall voltage measured in the direction perpendicular to the current flow. 6 is photonic matter is a phenomenon where photons interacting with a gas develop apparent mass and can interact with each other even forming photonic molecules. The source of mass is the gas which is massive. This is in contrast to photons moving in empty space which have no rest mass and cannot interact. Next classification is high energy states. First state is degenerate matter. Under extremely high pressure, as in the cores of dead stars, ordinary matter undergoes a transition to a series of exotic states of matter collectively known as degenerate matter, which are supported mainly by quantum mechanical effects. Unlike regular plasma, degenerate plasma expands little when heated because there are simply no momentum states left. Consequently, degenerate stars collapse into very high densities. More massive degenerate stars are smaller because the gravitational force increases, but pressure does not increase proportionally. Electron degenerate matter is found inside white dwarf stars. Number two is quark matter. In regular cold matter, quarks, fundamental particles of nuclear matter, are confined by the strong force into hadrons that consist of two to four quarks, such as protons and neutrons. Strange matter is a type of quark matter that is suspected to exist inside some neutron stars close to the tolman oppenheimer volkoff limit. Although there is no direct evidence of its existence, quark-gluon plasma is a very high temperature phase in which quarks become free and able to move independently rather than being perpetually bound into particles in a sea of gluons, subatomic particles that transmit the strong force that binds quarks together. At high densities but relatively low temperatures, quarks are theorized to form a quark liquid whose nature is presently unknown. It forms a distinct color-flavor locked phase at even higher densities. This phase is superconductive for color charge. These phases may occur in neutron stars, but they are presently theoretical. 3. is Color Glass Condensate Color glass condensate is a type of matter theorized to exist in atomic nuclei traveling near the speed of light. Next category is very high energy states. Various theories predict new states of matter at very high energies. An unknown state has created the Baryon asymmetry in the universe, but little is known about it. The gravitational singularity predicted by general relativity to exist at the center of a black hole is not a phase of matter. It is not a material object at all, but rather a property of space-time. Other states are time crystal. In condensed matter physics, a time crystal is a quantum system of particles whose lowest energy state is one in which the particles are in repetitive motion. The system cannot lose energy to the environment and come to rest because it is already in its quantum ground state. We define time crystalline behavior as a subharmonic response in spin magnetizations that arises as a consequence of many body interactions and driving, and which is robust to pulse errors and disorder. Next is programmable matter. Programmable matter is matter which has the ability to change its physical properties in a programmable fashion, based upon user input or autonomous sensing. Programmable matter is thus linked to the concept of a material which inherently has the ability to perform information processing. Programmable matter is a proposed digital material having computation, sensing, actuation, and display as continuous properties active over its whole extent. Next is antimatter. In modern physics, antimatter is defined as matter composed of the antiparticles of the corresponding particles in ordinary matter and can be thought of as matter with reverse charge, parity, and time, known as CPT reversal. It is composed of subatomic particles that have the mass, electric charge, and magnetic moment of the electrons, protons, and neutrons of ordinary matter, but for which the electric charge and magnetic moment are opposite in sign. 
the reaction of 1 kg of antimatter with 1 kg of matter would produce 180 petajoules of energy, or the rough equivalent of 43 megatons of TNT slightly less than the yield of the 27,000 kg Tsar Bomba, the largest thermonuclear weapon ever detonated. Last is dark matter. Dark matter, a component of the universe whose presence is discerned from its gravitational attraction rather than its luminosity. Dark matter makes up 30.1% of the matter-energy composition of the universe. The rest is dark energy, 69.4%, and ordinary visible matter 0.5%. In simpler terms, unlike normal matter, dark matter does not interact with the electromagnetic force. This means it does not absorb, reflect, or emit light, making it extremely hard to spot. In fact, researchers have been able to infer the existence of dark matter only from the gravitational effect it seems to have on visible matter. That's all for today. See you in another video.